yeah, I that was the last. I'm trying to think. Like, yeah, that was the last MCU thing that I watched. I, I didn't watch Loki or any any of that because I just I just kind of checked out. Just like with Star Wars stuff, I just kind of checked out. But Guardians was good. Yeah, I, I think I gave it like a seven out of ten. So it's not too bad for current what they've been doing with these movies. Yeah, I, I really liked um, the villain. He was like, "Oh, I want, I want him, I want him to die. I want him." Yeah, to, oh it was like, God. like he was a good villain. He was like, "I actually really hate you, and I wish everything bad happened to you." And it's been yeah. a while, you know, since you feel that. Like, in not a while, but you know what I mean. Some sometimes the villains are very lackluster, um, in in these superhero movies. But yeah, he was really good. Especially yeah. they brought the animal stuff into it, so that makes you even more mad. Like, really? Yeah. Really? Yeah. You're gonna mess yeah. with animals now? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it was good. Uh, good. I I really enjoyed it. So this article comes to us from Forbes. It says uh, MCU report: No Eternals two, Captain Marvel three, Ant Man four. As Disney gets a uh, risk <laughs> averse. So um, so the thing is, I, according to what I heard, there might be a soft reboot. I'm not sure if that's true. I'm not sure if they're gonna do that with um Deadpool, because uh there might be some time travel multiverse kind of stuff because we did see. Uh, God was Photon, Marie, uh, Monica Rambo, in um in the X Men universe uh, in, in the post credit scene. So, uh, I have not seen. Uh, okay, I unfortunately wait. It's a Captain Marvel three. Oh yeah, because the Marvels will be considered Captain Marvel two, huh? Yeah, I didn't it, see the first Captain Marvel. I did it's all, it's all, Listen, it's, I was it's, salty it's, because I was like, listen, this was before things got really bad. But I was like, how dare you give us this before Black Widow? We needed Black Widow first. That's what I wanted. And then we got Black Widow and careful what you asked for. <laughs> so was that what I yeah. wanted? <laughs> well, the, the, well, the fact that like you had Black Widow and like we, we all know that she dies in Endgame. It's like, oh, no, no one, no one's going to care. Yeah, they, we should have gotten a Black Widow movie like way before Captain Marvel. And I would have loved a Black Widow and Hawkeye movie. Oh, I love Hawkeye. And Jeremy Renner does a, a really great job with them. Yeah. yeah. All right, let's go ahead and read this. It says, uh, Disney has previously been, uh, uh, sorry, been thought to be scaling back in uh, the MCU, which was recently become overloaded with underperforming films in the theaters and vastly expensive shows on Disney+. Plus. Now, we may be hearing what that will look uh, like in practice. Insider Daniel Rickman is reporting that Eternal 2, sorry, th that Eternals 2 is no longer in development and other potential projects like the third Captain Marvel movie or a fourth Ant-Man will not be pursued. Um, I did not watch Eternals. I heard it was garbage. Um, the first Captain Marvel. I see Marvel the Eternals. Movie. Did you? Oh, like was it? <laughs> I only watched it because I really liked Richard Madden. I'll be honest. Okay. I liked Richard Madden mm. a lot and it was not good. It's not good. I, Really sad about it actually and yeah i if there's eternals too i'm not gonna see it it was terrible he yeah. was supposed to be i forget what the character he played was the name he was supposed to be like the mcu version of superman yeah icarus okay yeah thank you he flies into the sun and dies <laughs> yeah i i i wonder what that actor who went to therapy now that eternals 2 has been canceled <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Kumeo nanjani yeah yeah he yeah. was like He's like, I had to I had to go to a uh, therapy because uh you know that they, the reviews were so awful and it hurt my feelings. Now that it's canceled, your feelings won't be hurt anymore. Yeah, <laughs> it doesn't matter anymore. But uh wait, so Rip, so so the guy you're talking about is uh the guy who plays Rob Stark, right? Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, yeah. I love Richard. Yeah, man. man, that sucked, dude. Like I loved him as Rob Stark, and just like oh, the next thing you see him in is like oh. Such a terrible. He actually oh, was in a, a show called uh, The Bodyguard. And it's actually really good. If anyone wants to check that out, only one season, but it was like I, a, a good one season. Yeah, yeah, I was supposed to watch that, but there were so many things going on. And I, I worth heard it. That, you I get think... bored and you need something good. There you go. His yeah. Cinderella remake. Yeah, he was good in that. That was one of the last good. Um, so uh -oh. Disney doesn't do a very good job with the live actions, but Cinderella was actually done very well. Probably the best mm. live action that they have. It was done very well, actually. Okay. Yeah. Yo, Mo Zamboni with the $2 Black Widow movie in 2014 would have made $2 billion easy. Yeah. True. That's mm -hmm. actually true. Yeah. Very true. I, I, I agree with that. that. And they wouldn't have a uh, gender swapped. Uh, what's it called? Taskmaster. Again? Uh, Taskmaster. Taskmaster. Yeah, Taskmaster would, would still have been the guy back then. 
But all right, let's continue. Let's see. Uh, let's see. If you've been tracking Marvel hits and misses, uh, these three specifically may not come as a huge shock as something Marvel does not want to invest in from here. All performed poorly, relatively speaking, among critics and at the box office, all three films in questions. Uh, Internals, 47% Rotten Tomatoes, uh, $400 million worldwide. Ant-Man, Quantumania, uh, 46% Rotten Tomatoes, $476 million worldwide. The, Mar <laughs> the Marvels, 62% Rotten Tomatoes, $206 million worldwide. Wow. Damn, that's awful. That... <laughs> That movie was bad. The yeah. movie was bad. I heard. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's, uh, it. it's, it's, yeah. We watched it for, uh, for, for, for content. But yeah. I see. I I'm think sorry. the Marvels. No, it's, it's, it's okay. We probably made like $3 on yeah. it. <laughs> we made $3 <laughs> on yeah, ad revenue. Well, there you go. You paid for your popcorn. <laughs> yeah. Popcorn is like eight bucks. <laughs> You're right. Popcorn, <laughs> especially here in California, is everything's super expensive. Oh. Sorry. It's, yeah. It's, yeah. I think that the Marvels was probably the movie alarm bell that set all of this off. While the two hundred million uh, secret invasion secret was probably invasion. the. Sh oh my God, man! I forgot. Yeah. I didn't. Well, I couldn't finish it. Yeah, secret invasion. The Marvels. Yeah, they really destroyed Nick Fury in both of those. Black girl magic. I heard. Oh God. Yeah, I heard. Uh, <laughs> I heard because I, you know, I have, you know, extra to brew on my Saturday show, and he suffers. Her too, because Gary makes her watch everything. But you know, this <laughs> suffers and watches all the bad stuff. So I, I don't watch anything. I'm just like, okay, tell me what happened. Save me, please. I don't want to watch it. Just let me know. <laughs> See, uh, as much as I think both Eternals and the Marvels were underrated, no, they both sucked. Uh, given their performance, I can understand why sequels would not be pursued. It's because, uh, no, just the movie. The movie just wasn't good. Um, and the thing is that they. They should know that they should cater to their fans. Like, given the fact that I'm not saying, I'm not saying that comic book movies and the movies that the action hero movies aren't made for girls, but they they are primarily made for guys that brings their girlfriends along, and then they watch it with them, and then they both end up liking it, which is the original demographic. This is like 20 years ago. However, things you know, demographic has changed. Maybe 60, 40 percent. So, um, I remember I watched a movie. With my ex, I forgot. I forgot what it's called. It's called like Red or some, some something. It's about uh, Chris Hemsworth and he's like a racer. And I was like, "Why do you want to watch this movie?" She's like, "No reason." And then there was a part where Chris Hemsworth is basically naked, completely naked, and you see his butt cheeks. I'm like, "Oh, this is the reason why you wanted to watch it." <laughs> the movie was good. The movie was good, but that was the main reason why she wanted to watch the movie. I'm like, "There you go." Okay, so like now here's the thing. Um, if the movie is good and it's also caters to your fans, you know, like if like, for instance, uh, Madam Web, if there was at least a little bit catered to the male, I guess a little bit of the male gaze, like I, I think the movie would have done. A oh, little like bit maybe than... Sydney Sweeney not being dressed in block clothing. <laughs> yes. <laughs> She's always covered yep. up. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah, and the fact that the movie that she, that she made. That was like a rom com, or I'm not sure what what it was. Uh, um, yeah, I, was, I didn't see it. That movie made like two hundred million dollars. Yeah, that movie did great, <laughs> and she also and she's on Euphoria, which is really popular too. So it's like, yeah, All right, let's, let's continue. However, I, yeah, uh, I don't think it's a rise for Marvel to ditch Brie Larson's Captain Marvel and Iman. Vel I, I think Iman Vellani as uh, Kamala Khan is uh, really good. I think uh, I think uh, she's actually really uh really mature for her age like sh should be given more to do yeah i i would say if they are going to make more like have them in the background don't give them their own self move like their own you know movies anymore i i think i think just have them in the background or something like that it's because um uh iman valani um was actually it's like oh dude you know i'm just really happy that i'm here and uh you know if if the review they don't like it then they don't like it it's in versus well it's you know it wasn't made for you man babies you know, that's, like that's and, the excuse yeah. for everything. Was it made for you, or or they yep. they always they're always blaming the people that watch it, whether it's the mm -hmm. fans or it's usually the fans. But you, like you yeah. said, you think they would cater to the fans a bit more because I don't know that's where they get their money from. Unless I'm wrong. Yep. Is that not where they get their money from anymore? Because yeah. they sure aren't doing uh, a good job. Like, yeah, B business one on one. You'd think they'd understand. <laughs> yep. 
See, as yeah. for Ant Man and the Wasp, uh, they can show up as the Avengers, I suppose. But Eternals is probably going to have to remain what could have been situation, and I will not expect them again. Yeah, um, yeah, I did not watch this uh, Eternals. Um, uh, when I heard no. that they killed off um, uh, the big titty Sama Hayek, I'm like, oh, this movie's gonna suck. And then I was right. <laughs> I was absolutely right. It was bad. But, uh, yeah, and and the fact that they said that like this movie is gonna save lives, I think that's the ridiculous part. I'm like, what are you talking about? This what? movie is going to save lives. I'm, what does that I'm even like, mean? It's like, are are you trying to show more like uh, LGBTQ stuff? Yeah, sure. I don't think it will save lives, but if you want the, your message to be shown around the world that you can be a superhero and you can be gay, I'm like, that's fine. But the thing is that Saudi Arabia is not going to show your movie. <laughs> it's a so it's a yep. moot point. It doesn't matter. Yeah, so um yeah, so, so are oh so uh, wicked are you ever going to do you think Marvel can like sort of uh you know get get you to watch their movies again? Of course, De I think Deadpool 3 is is like a is mm -hmm. a, an exception, but um like let's say if they if you found out that some of the woke stuff has been removed, do you think that Marvel can be saved? I think that Marvel could be saved for a couple reasons. Like um so Spider Man's my favorite superhero, so I, I would like for Marvel to be saved. The Spider Man movies are, are actually aren't too bad, like with the messaging and all that. At least not yet. I haven't watched the second Spider Verse movie though, so maybe I'm wrong there. Um, but the live action, we'll say. Um, I do think so. A uh, big reason why is because they have so many characters that they haven't even explored yet in live action. So if they wanted to dive into some of those characters and tell their story, and like you said, remove some of like not some of just remove the woke stuff that they have a lot going for them that could save them. Like if you between like the MCU and star Wars, I don't think star Wars can be saved because they ruined old characters so horribly, but the MCU again has such a wide variety of characters that they can use and tell their stories. And uh, if, if it was done right, then yeah, they could get interest, you know, like echo. I don't know about echo. It's not going to be good. I don't think I'll check it out. Maybe it, we'll see but that's no, a character that people no. don't I, I don't think it's gonna i don't think it's it's good um but as an example that's a character that not that many people know about and if they would have taken that her story and done it correctly it could have been interesting because it's a new story for people who don't know who she is so if they stop with this pandering crap then i think they could fix it but they would have to clean clean house like they'd have to get new writers new people just everywhere. Yeah, I forgot. I forgot Echo actually already came out. See, that's how out of the loop I am and checked out to Marvel. Like I, yeah. I talked about it on stream too. Um, <laughs> I totally forgot. But yeah. yeah. So um I I I don't know. I, I think it can be saved, but will it be saved? Probably not, unfortunately. Yeah. I it would be I nice. Don't think so too. Yeah, I'm no, just getting excited to go I, I, see I these movies. Like I used to love going to see like you know the Avengers and stuff. It was like you could hype for these silly, silly superhero movies, but now they're just not good. So I don't get hyped anymore. It, yeah, it's like the, the the tiny silver lining though is like I want to know the rational behind uh them canceling these sequels. Yeah, yeah, they lost money, but does this mean your Bob Iger is finally seeing shit for what it is or? I don't know what are, what are they gonna do after they cancel all these sequels? Are they gonna reboot it? Are they gonna, uh, uh, you know, uh yeah, like start from the ground up with all the staff and actually hire back the actual people who care about these IPs, not sending woke pro propaganda, or is it just like a PR move so that Bob can get the shareholders to vote for him instead of Pelts? I I don't know. Yeah, uh, that would make it probably because it's. I, I you think that when you hit them in their wallets, that'd be when they start paying attention, but they're so stubborn and they don't want to, but they were wrong that they're just, they're just digging deeper, which is so stupid because you're just going to sink a company like, like 10 years ago. Could you imagine hearing that like Disney's going down? Like, yeah, right. Because that was the biggest company. I mean, it's still a really big company, but people are just so tired of their crap. So I don't know. That's that's pretty ridiculous if you're letting your ego get in the way to uh, just ruin an entire company that was built and gosh when did it's been so long can you imagine walt disney now like the actual walt disney turning over in his grave over this crap and it's really sad nobody in his family and i don't know how this ha how they managed to let this happen that not one person that is related to walt disney has any control over that company that's insane to me
Thanks for checking out this segment of the Project Egg Row podcast. If you like what we do here, please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and you will know next time when we go live. We do go live every Saturday at 8 p.m. Once again, we are just getting started. Tons of more video to come. Thanks, and we'll see you guys next time.